at Stirling Point, Land's End, Bluff, New Zealand. check is 6 6 10 yata. and we are still in Queenstown and it is negative 3 guys kanina negative 4 I'm having my cup of hot chocolate sa kanya tea <coughs> pangit yung boss natin kasi nga <coughs> na ubo pa tayo dahil sobrang lamig. Nawala na yung ubo ko tapos pumalik na naman. <coughs> so today, we're heading to... Where are we going today? Um, Bluff. 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 I've never been there, so yeah, we're going there. Update ko kayo mamaya guys kung ano meron doon, di ba? <laughs> so far, we stay here in Quinzon two nights and three days to spend with <coughs> Alan's family. So, see you later guys. few moments later. We're having our breakfast. Bacon and egg again. <laughs> and guys, papakulo tayo kasi mag inom tayo ng tea. Still negative 2 outside. Madamig. Negative 2 pa rin. Pero kasi may heater kami dito kaya okay lang. Carry bills lang. Yan yung maganda pag may motor home. Meron kang heater. Diba? Oh, perfect talaga yung tubig ko. Tamang taman. <laughs> Nagaano kasi ako ng tea, guys. Kain tayo! Milk. Kailangan ng milk sa ating cup of tea. Sunny siya. O, oh, diba? Mainit. Pero, sa labas, napakalamig. Negative 2. Ayan. Babad muna natin yung tea natin. <coughs> Kain muna tayo. Oh my guys. Good morning. Take a few moments later.
Hello guys, so we are here in the bottom of South Island, Cold Block. Ito na yung pinakadulo ng South Island. Ayan. Very wild ang dagat guys. Ito tayo ngayon. Ang lamig. So, here we are at Stirling Point, Land's End, Bluff, New Zealand. And we're just going to take some pictures before we go and have some lunch. So, up here is the Oyster Cafe, Land's End Lodge, and this is Stirling Point. Not quite the very bottom of the South Island, it's a place called Slope Point, which is way over in the distance over there, which we will go to later today. But this is pretty much almost as far as you can go south. Wild country, man. That's the harbour entrance for Bluff. And then out here you have the Stirling Point Lighthouse and then in the very distance you can see Stewart Island. And here's a panoramic view. Very wild foliage down here. Here's our transportation, just gassed up and fueled up, ready for the next adventure. Let's take a little walk down here, see what else there is to see. Bluff Heritage Trail, Stirling Point. Named after Captain Stirling, who established a whaling station for Johnny Jones in 1836. Four ships ended their days on Pelham Rock to the east of the Sterling Point Station. The world famous Sterling Point signpost attracts many thousands of visitors every year. Uh -huh. We'll take some photos of that when we go back. Let's have a look down here. Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. William Sterling, born 1810, Kent, England, died 19th December 1851. Wow, only 41 years old. T.Y. arrived Cuts Cove, Preservation Inlet, New Zealand, the first pilot of the Bluff area. A beautiful little spot down here. And here it is. Here's the Stirling Point 
Lighthouse. They're amazing, these exalus, these public toilets are everywhere you go, all automatic. Really amazing. Just press the button. Press the button. No, not going to work. Hmm. There you go, not working. I'm not going to go all the way down there, I don't think. Well, we might do later. Pretty cool spot. I'm going to come back here with Emily after we've had lunch, I think. So here we go, Oyster Cove at Stirling Point, Land's End. We're hoping that the seafood here is good. No, that's the deep south. Oh, exit only. Okay. And sadly, dear customers, our oyster season is now over. Therefore, we don't have our delicious oysters to serve you. Better luck next time. Kain tayo guys, and look at our view. Ayan, napapagod sa nagbuna. Working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I